U.S. Security Service Director Kimberly Cheadle resigns. Finally, after that horrible testimony that went really bad in the Congress, I think finally she made up her mind that, look, I'll have to go now. Normally, it used to be that something happened, like, for example, an attempt on the life of somebody. The person who is the director or the person responsible would take moral responsibility and would step down and let somebody else do the investigation. These days, people don't leave and they have to be frog marched out of their office for wrongdoing. Unfortunately, this is not something that is only limited to United States. It happens everywhere now. Anyway, so what was the reason why she actually had to leave? Well, for one thing, she perjured herself. What that means is before you start giving a testimony, you take an oath saying that you shall speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. So essentially under oath, you are not supposed to lie. That's a crime in itself. So I'm going to show you a small video that you can see where a congresswoman Nancy Mays catches her at her lie. Here we go. Answers. Most of my questions are going to demand a yes or no answer. Do you understand? I do. Okay. My first question. Both sides of the aisle today have asked for your resignation. Would you like to use my five minutes to draft your resignation letter? Yes or no? No, thank you. <clears throat> was this a colossal failure? It was a failure. Yes or no? Was it a colossal failure is the question. Yes or no? I have admitted this is a terrible This is a yes or no series of questions. Was this a colossal failure? Yes or no? Yes. Was this tragedy preventable? Yes or no? Yes. Has the Secret Service been transparent with this committee? Yes. Would you say the fact that we had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today as being transparent, yes or no? I have always been yes eager to Yes or no, you didn't want to answer the, the question. Committee. We had to issue a subpoena to get you to show up today. That is not transparent, by the way. So she catches her at her lie at the end of that one minute video that you saw. Now, what is going to happen next? An acting director has been appointed and things will go on. But the important takeaway here is that there are many mistakes that happen and the Secret Service is unable to explain them. For example, um, there was a building opposite the slope roof on which the shooter was uh, there, lying there. And this building across the roof had a very clear view of where the shooter was lying. And evidently, a couple of Secret Service people were there. They did nothing. So this is like, what exactly is going on? How could they be so remiss? So these are all the questions that are getting asked and the chorus is getting louder and louder. In fact, in this particular grilling of the Secret Service Director, both parties really took pot shots at her. They really hauled her over the coals. So this is not something that should be taken lightly. More important, what is going to happen to Kamala Harris? Is she going to be a president before the elections? Because that would actually render the, the idea of having an open convention useless. So what has been happening is since 17th of July, when Biden was supposed to have got COVID, he has been quarantined and he had not been seen. But today he did emerge out of a car, walked on his own accord, in fact, seemed quite uh, conscious. And uh, he waved to the people on the runway and then got into the plane. But he didn't answer a lot of questions. He just looked like he was more like a a robot uh, walking across. But at the same time, this is sighting of the president. So he's not like in hospice or uh, in his final days as some social media sites had speculated. So that is done. But will he be able to continue till the end of his term? See, this is where things get interesting. Biden upstaged Obama by endorsing Kamala Harris. Obama and the other people, especially the Chicago group, was perfectly happy if he had just said that I'm not running for re-election. But he also, within a few minutes, put out a tweet uh, saying that he is endorsing Kamala Harris. This is where the other side said, wait a minute, somebody has done an end run around us. And that's when I think uh, Obama put out a tweet saying, I would prefer an open convention. So you have the Obama group on one side, the rest of the Democratic Party appears to have uh, coalesced around 
Kamala Harris, especially Nancy Pelosi, Hillary and Bill Clinton, Gavin Newsom, the 50 state uh, heads and, sing- and so on and so forth. So people are falling in behind Kamala Harris. Now, what is going to happen next is anyone's guess, but Kamala Harris needs to really put on her A game because there appears to be an imminent threat on United States itself. I won't say a lot more because this is still very preliminary. A lot of information is being shared. Uh, It's still too early to say anything. It could be a base of United States somewhere across the world. And if Kamala Harris has to step into the shoes of president, then her um, metal will be really tested. So we have to wait and see how that will play out. But first, is Biden going to resign? A couple of things that he has done makes us think that something is happening, even though he's walking and everything. Because he has been giving powers more and more to various secretaries, uh, delegating more and more his responsibilities, which means he's finding it hard to concentrate and make decisions. And that is a first. Very, very uh, shrouded in secrecy what's happening to the president. And so that that's where the speculation comes. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.